Yeah, it hurts sometimes It's all I got to say Sick and tired of all the games that my head wants to play Yeah, it hurts sometimes Waking up this way My mind is slipping away, not looking for an escape hey, But the way that you look at me I'm so lost and it's all I need. I can't see straight <laughs> Hey, babe, where are we going? We're going to the home of the lifted off-road trucks, Austin, Texas. That's why we're in our Gen 3 Raptor today, so we fit right in. And the reason why we're going there this weekend, we're going to go see Rammstein, the old German rock band. But before we actually get there, that's Saturday night. Friday night, we're going to go explore and see what Austin nightlife has to offer. Fat naked lady and a thong. We have a list of some of the best speakeasies which we're gonna hopefully find tonight and then we're gonna go see all of them and then try some good food tomorrow explore all the downtown that Austin has and um, make it to Rammstein tomorrow night Schmacks. I am never gonna financially recover from this. We can't afford it by just eliminating, beginning to treat, treat work, reward work as much as well. Where are you going now? We just got to Bucky's. And if you're gonna stop in Texas, you gotta stop at Bucky's. It's one of the biggest gas stations in the United States. I mean, look at this. Look how many pumps we got. Mm-hmm. Schmacks. So I don't know where we're at, Nasson. I'm sweating my. And right now we're on 6th Street, which is supposed to be the, I guess, the party capital. I don't know if I'm on the trashy end or what. We've already seen a fat naked lady and a thong. My eyes! She's trying, I mean, I don't know what's going on. The security guard, he's putting on a bulletproof vest where he went to the club over here. I don't know what's going on. I hope it gets better than this. Hopefully we make it to the next part. Next guy had a, a Tide Pod box. He was shaking it at us like he was eating Tide Pods. I don't know what's going on around here in Austin. I don't think I like it too much. I guess we'll have to wait and see once we get to the speakeasies. If we get to speakeasy. Exactly. We started from the east side to the west side of 6th Street. I do notice a trend. Six, the east side of 6th Street is pretty raunchy. I didn't know where I was at. But the further west we got, it was getting a little bit nicer. It's not the best place to be honest with you 100%. But it's like there's a bar on top of a bar on top of a bar on top of another bar. I've never seen so many bars side by side that almost look identical. It's kind of insane. But we're going to go to the speakeasy and hopefully we'll find a place that I actually want to sit at and drink at. Maybe that was 21. I'm not that old, I'm only 27. But, uh, I don't know, it's not really my scene. To be honest, but maybe a few drinks my system, not my chance. <laughs> Our way, all the way down through 6th Street of Austin. First stop, here nor there, speakeasy. So we start off right here, unsuspicious alleyway. Good thing I know the code. We just finished up at here nor there. Pretty cool, cool place. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a speakeasy. It's more of like a semi-private cocktail lounge. You're supposed to have like a $500 annual membership, but you can actually make reservations online, so I'm not sure what the point of that is. But cool atmosphere, good drinks. Cassini didn't like the music, so we're gonna have to leave it at a seven and a half. Next place we're going to is Small Victory.
so it's big easy number two, small victory. And definitely guys, I can say that was a small victory. Really great atmosphere, good music, good drinks. It was actually cheaper than the first place we actually went to as well too. We had a, I had a best for martini, James Martin special, so I had to come up there. Very good drinks, very good music. Very good atmosphere. I wish I could have stayed for two drinks, but we got so many places on the list tonight that I don't want to feel too sick when we go to Rom time tomorrow. So, um, on a scale of one to ten, at the last place was a seven and a half. I, I would give that place a nine so far. I really liked it. Cindy's shaking her head no, so. Got on land eight. Eight and a half. <laughs> All right, guys. So the next place we're gonna go to, I don't know, but we got about three more to go to. So let's go find them. So did we even go inside Firehouse? Let me show you why not. Not worth it. Smells like pee, too many people, not a big easy. Zero out of ten. Alright, you know, after that last place, small victory, I decided it's time to go home. You know, after Kelwana getting the DUI, I think it's better to just go home. Let's, let's go get the car. I know we're in Austin for the night, but I think we need to just be smart about this. Not get in trouble anymore. And then just Go home, play it safe. So, garage, pretty cool atmosphere. I mean, we're in a parking garage and they have a speakeasy built into it. I was a little disappointed because I really wanted to hang out here and grab a drink, but there was a line and we probably should have made reservations, but I mean, why would you need to do that at a speakeasy? So we didn't actually grab a drink there. I didn't want to wait in line. And so, here in Austin so we're not gonna waste our time here at garage I would say if we would have got a drink there it's a cool atmosphere it's awesome that's in the parking garage so I would still give it I don't know the quality of the drinks but I would still give it at least for the atmosphere seven but seven it looked cool in there you crazy I am crazy it's like a five it looked cool but let's go to the next stop let's looks see don't there. buy it anymore looks are good because that's no, that's the only thing I have looks so, garage gets a seven, not a two. To the garage we stopped at a place called summit you know it was it's a pretty cool place i mean it was a more of a, like electronic music edm kind of club it's pretty cool they play a lot of house music you know since we've seen ron's time this weekend i figured we need to do some german heritage so i might have had some old school Jaeger rep rule john mama did raise no <laughs> that used to be our old school drink so jaegermeister actually means man of the hunt is it Mana Hunt? Oh, yeah, that's good. I Googled that, like, this morning. So that's what it actually means, so German 101. So I think we have one more speakeasy to run to. Actually, well, it's kind of hot. Um, yeah, it's called uh, Midnight Cowboy. If we can survive, we'll make it. Um, yeah, we'll see you there. Two hours later. at Jacoby's. It was a farm to table style restaurant. Jacoby's actually has their own farm three three hours away from Austin, Texas. So they bring in all the beef there. So happy cows. I think they're grass fed, who knows. Um, yeah, the, the cow almost killed me though. I almost choked on the steak. It was it was good food, but the steak was a little chewy and yeah. But, all right, let's go uh, see what else Austin has to offer. What about uh, the prices? I mean, it was expensive overall. What we got was probably the most expensive thing. It didn't say on the menu. It said market price. We got the sirloin just to try the steak and eggs. Yeah, it was kind of expensive. More than I would have liked to have paid for a steak, to be honest. But uh, you live and you learn. Right. Next time, eggs Benedict. 
Eggs, Benedict it is. No avocado toast. <laughs> no. What do I do? I like to add in life tips into my videos. I haven't yet, but uh, here you go. One way to save money, do not take your wife to a Four Hands outlet store before we leave. This is, this is not even it. That's a mirror and a picture. Two couches, two couches. We already got two couches. Why do we need two more couches? Let's go ask. Why do we need two more couches? Because we uh, like beautiful things. It's to avoid an argument. Okay. Schmacks! So, what, my biggest complaint about Texas so far, I think Texans need to stick to riding horses because this is ridiculous. I've never seen so much traffic in my life. But I live in Oklahoma too, so. But in Vancouver, Canada wasn't even this big, bad, and it was a bigger city, so I don't know what the deal is. But um, to talk about Rammstein, I didn't really say much about the concert. Great concert. I'm like I said, I'm not the biggest fan. They're they're a great band. I just haven't really listened to them all too much. I know a song or two of them, but um, and that was really fun. But uh, the other songs, I didn't really know them. I don't know what they're saying. Maybe I need to like, take a German class, and I kind of want to look up and see what they're saying. But uh, yeah, it was a good concert. They put on a great show. I was more like excited about seeing what they were gonna do next because they tried to catch one guy on fire in a pot with a flamethrower, and then the next thing he ejaculated foam onto the people at the front row. So very entertaining overall so like if you're just there it's not just a concert where you go and listen to the music it was also a show as well too so double thumbs up for me I definitely feel like we got our money's worth they came out and played lots of music and at one point they bowed and we thought the show was over but uh, now that was only like halfway through the show so yeah good good uh, concert overall highly recommend to go see them if you get the chance before they're in their nursing home all right so I think that's about it this is gonna sum up the whole video um, great weekend in Austin Texas never disappoints besides uh, this. Do not take your your wife to a furniture outlet store. A bad idea. It's like taking a kid to a candy store and not buying them candy. So, all right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.